Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you a very simple method on how to draw in three dimension by drawing in a Minecraft ghast. So I'm going to get started in the center of our page. I'm going to draw a straight line coming down the center. Starting from the top, I'm going to be pulling the pen down towards us. Now from here I'm going to draw two angled lines from the top, going out on the left and on the right. So let's start with the right side first. Starting from the top, we're going to angle up with a straight line. Now I want to make sure that this line is roughly the same length as this line going up and down. We do the same thing on the left side. So I'm going to line up the top corner. So right here, I'm going to pull the pen down towards the inside line. From these ends, I just want to draw the same length line as I have in the middle on the side here. So you can use your fingers to measure this out, starting from the top. I'm just going to pull the pen down to right about there. I'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, I'm just going to connect those two points with a straight line. I'll do the same thing on the right side. Now from here, I'm gonna take this top point, I'm just gonna step up to right about here so that these two points are kind of in the center point of the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna put a point right there in the middle. I'm gonna take this point and just draw a straight line going up towards the top. And we'll draw a straight line coming down towards the right side. Now there we have a very simple three-dimensional box. Now I can put the face on the left side or the right. I'm actually going to choose to draw it on the right side here. So I'm going to imagine a center line down the middle here. I'm going to draw the left eye. So I'm going to draw a little short line on the left side. Now we're going to just follow this line up along the top here. I'm going to draw the inside edge of the right eye. So I want to make sure that the top is going up at an angle and come down. Now I'm going to draw the tops of the eye. So again, following this line along the top of the eye. Now we're going to draw two short lines coming down on the sides. And then I'm going to connect the bottom with a straight line. I'm going to go ahead and color the eyes in black. Now I'm going to move down in the middle here and draw in the mouth. So I want to again draw in that same angled line for the top of the mouth. On the sides here, I'm going to draw in two short lines coming down of equal length. We'll close off the bottom with a straight angle line, again coloring that in black. Now I'm going to go in and just add some of the tears coming down the eye. So from this corner on the left, I'm going to step in and draw a straight line coming down. Now I'm going to angle up, again following that same angle, the short line going up, going up straight. Now again, I'm going to follow the bottom edge of the eye, going in, and I'm just going to tuck this in underneath the eye. I'm going to take that and just flip it over on the right side. So we're going to start on the inside first, so right here, coming straight down, going up in a short angle, and then again coming down, going across and up, and I'm going to pull that up underneath the eye. Just down here, I'm just going to draw a little droplet. So stepping down, we're just going to draw the square just beside the mouth here. Starting with a straight line, coming down on both sides, and then angling the bottom to connect the lines. Now that we got the head, we're going to tuck in all the legs underneath the body. So we're going to start on the front here with an angled line. Starting underneath the side here, and come down with a straight line, coming down towards the back. Now from this point, I want to go up in an angle. I'm almost squaring off the end. So we've got a nice square angle here. I'm going to come straight up underneath the body. Now I want to make this leg look at, like it's in three dimensions. So I'm going to take this point, I'm just going to follow this angle along the bottom here. Just a straight line like that. Now I'm going to pull this back up, the angled line just following this line right here. I'm going to draw in another leg right on the left side here. So I'm going to step over and draw that same angled line coming down. I'm going to make this leg a little bit shorter. Now I'm going to go back up again, drawing that little angle, same right angle. I'm going to pull that back up underneath the body. Now from here, again, I'm going to follow that same angle here, going up with a short line. Now I'm going to pull this up underneath the body. Now we're going to add one more leg in the back here. Now I'm going to make it about the same length as this one here. So imagine the bottom of this line going up to about here. So this back leg will be that length. Starting up at the top, come down, and angle to about there. Again, we're going to square off the end. Now we're going to pull this up underneath the body, straight up. 
Now again, I want to add that little angle here. So taking that line here, just duplicating it. I'm going to pull this up underneath the body. Just following that line all the way up towards the top. Now that I have these front legs, I'm going to draw another one right beside it, but this one I'm going to actually angle a little bit straighter down this way. So from here, I'm going to step over and just pull the pen down to the little steeper angle here. Now here, I'm just going to square this off. Square it off along the bottom, and then pull this up underneath this front leg. Just follow that same angle going all the way up. Now right here, again, I'm going to follow that angle in the front of the leg, going up. I'm going to pull this up underneath the body straight up. I'm going to add one more leg in the back here, but I'm going to take this leg and just duplicate it in the back here. So I'm going to step over and just follow that same angle, coming down to right about there. I'm going to pull this up in behind the front leg. Now right here, again, I'm going to follow that same line, going back. Now I'm going to pull this up underneath the body. It's going straight up in an angle. And that's pretty much it. There's our Minecraft gas. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Minecraft playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.